Hey guys, so in this quick small section, I'm going to show you all how you can export layouts, how you can import layouts, how you can save certain sections, and you can you know put them onto different parts of your website. Maybe you kind of want to keep your website similar and you want to save some work and export it to a different page. I'm going to show you how to do all of that right now. So I'm going to first start off by adding a template. Now these are all templates that come with Elementor. Now there are some pro ones and you will have to get the pro version to uh, receive those. Now the link for the pro version is also in the description, but I'm going to go ahead and click on this uh, law firm right here as a home page. Now right here, I'm going to go ahead and change this title right here to Daryl Wilson, darylwilson.com. Now there are some other features I want to talk about. So let's say for example, you just want this section right here. You just want this big M section right here. So in order to do that, all you need to do is click on the save icon right here and put something like uh, the header image section and go to save. Now you can go ahead and export that to another website. You can slap that on to a different part of another part of your website or whatever. Now let's say you want to go ahead and save your entire page. So I've shown you how to save sections right here, right? Now I'm going to show you how you can save the entire page. So right here on the bottom left, you see this little folder right here. Click on that and go to save template. Now I'm going to put Daryl Wilson law page and I'm going to click on save. Okay, so I have these two sections right here. Now, right here you see how it says export. Now let's say you want to go ahead and take this same exact page and export it to maybe a different website. So right here, I'm going to click on export and I click on uh, leave. And now you can see that right here on the bottom left, I have a .json file. Okay, so basically all of that stuff that I just put is on that file right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you all how you can load it onto different websites or whatever else. So look, we have the header image section, which is the top section. I have the entire page and then I actually have a layout. So I have three different templates right here and I'm going to show you all how you can put it onto different parts of your website. So let's go ahead and make a new page then. Let's just go ahead and make a whole new page. So right here, I'm going to go to my dashboard. I'm not going to save this. Now I'm going to go to plus new and go to page. So right here, I'm going to do layouts. And I'm going to go ahead and set this section right here. So 100% full width, default, disabled. Again, you don't have to follow me here. I'm just basically showing you all how you can uh, export and import layouts. So right here, I'm going to click on edit with Elementor. So I'm first going to show you all how you can uh, use the ones that we saved onto the library. And I'm going to show you all this bottom left one right here on how you can actually import that onto another website, domain, or a different part of your website. So here I'm going to click on add a template. Now right here under my templates, you're going to see header image section, insert, and voila. Now we have darylwilson.com. You guys can see it just took the header part right there. So there's no reason why you'd want to do all the hard work again. So that's a, a very good shortcut way to go. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. And now I'm going to go ahead and go add a template, my templates, and click on Daryl Wilson law page and click on insert. So now you see darylwilson.com and instead it brings the entire page guys. So you don't have to sit there and, you know, design all the websites again from scratch. You can go ahead and use the layout system, which is incredible. I mean, it's, it's so amazing how fast you can make websites and how easy it is. Now let's go ahead and talk about this one right here on the one that we exported, right? So maybe you want to take that and put it on a different domain or you want to put it on a different website, right? You can kind of like make pre-made websites and actually businesses actually have full-time business structures where they just make layouts and sell them to developers and those people use them on clients' websites. So I'm gonna click on X right here and go to dashboard. Now over here under Elementor, I'm gonna go to my library. Now right here on the top, I'm gonna go to import templates. So I'm gonna click on browse right here. And all I need to do is find the templates. So it was the .json file. So I'm just gonna do .json. And there it is. So I think it was this one. It's one of the two. I think it's, uh, I'll just take a gamble. I think it's this one right here. So go to open and go to import now. And voila. Now we have the page right here. So you can see uh, it's published right here. These other ones are just like duplicates ones I made. So it shows you your entire library, but uh, these have the same titles because that's basically uh, what we imported and exported on our website. Okay, so this is the one that we have right here. Now again, you can export it, you can do whatever you want, you can 
edit with Elementor. So all you need to do is go ahead and make a new page. And Daryl Wilson Law page right here, it was made one minute ago. So you can go ahead and import that. So right here, uh, pages, add new. Law page. And then again, I'm just gonna go ahead and change some of these sections right here. So 100% full width, default, header, blah, blah, blah. All this mumbo jumbo, same stuff. Okay. Publish. Edit with Elementor. Now we're here, add a template. If I go to my templates right here, you're gonna see that I have two. So this is the correct one right here. This is the most recent one. And if I go to insert, it's going to show up right here on my website, voila. So remember, that's how you would, you can export it here and then you would import it to the library on another domain that has Elementor. And then you can go ahead and just use that on any domain or any other websites, okay? So uh, that's basically a quick rundown of the templates. It's amazing what this page builder can do. It, it saves you so much time and I highly recommend to get the pro version because then you can take advantage of all of their pre-made layouts that they have created, okay? So that's about it guys for this section with the pre-made layouts and everything else. Uh, be sure to check it out. And remember guys, it's all about working, not working harder, but working smarter.